Hi everyone, welcome to yet another episode on basics of MATLAB programming. In this tutorial, let us see switch case statement in MATLAB. For a switch case statement, this is general format. The constant expression or constant value normally called as label. This label decides what is the case to be executed. If the switch label matches with statement group number 1 case label, then statement group number 1 is executed. Or else matches with statement group number 2 label, statement group number 2 is executed. If case 1 and 2 not executed, by default, statement group number 3 is executed. This otherwise statement group is optional. Without otherwise also, switch case statement will work effectively. Let us see some sample demonstration of switch case statement through a simple coding. Have a look at this example. I have chosen A with the value of 1. Depending upon this A value, either case 1 statement executed or case 2 statement is executed or default statement is executed. According to this, A is 1, it is obvious that it will display 1. If A is 2, it will display 2. If A has other than 1 and 2, it will display other than 1 and 2. Let me check it out. So A is 1, it is displaying 1. So for example, I am going for A is 2. Look at the result, 2 here. And this is alone executed, remember. And A is 0 now, which is neither 1 nor 2. Now, have a look at the result, other than 1 and 2 is the result. So this is one way of executing switch case statement in MATLAB. Let's go for another example in this switch case statement. Here in this case, you can use more than one label on case. Look at the case number 2, you may have more than one label. If A matches with any one of this case label, R is displayed here through this code. If this A matches with any one of this case label, E1 is displayed. Or else, by default, not in range will be displayed. This is the difference between the previous code and the present code. In the previous code, only one case label is present. In this code, we have more number of case labels. In this example, I am going to display the given number is even or odd provided if the number is between 1 to 10. Let me go for demonstration straight away. I run this code. I have to enter a number between 1 to 10. I am giving 1 here. Look at the result odd. Displaying this one alone. Now again I run this code, I am entering 6 here, now it is even. Let's run this code one more time. Now we enter the value out of range, say for example 11, now it will display not in range. So this is another example how to use switch case statement in MATLAB programmer. Let us move on to third and final example for switch case statement. Here, I am going to use character constant as a label. Have a look at this A assigned with Z character. Similarly, case labels are character constant. If this A value is Z, then it will display last alphabet. If the A value is A, then it will display first alphabet. Otherwise, it will display other than A and Z. Let me straight away run this code. Have a look at this. A is Z. I have already assigned. So, last alphabet. A, it will display first alphabet. 
we choose B other than A and Z. So this way character constant is also used as case label. I hope you enjoyed this video with the learning of switch case statement in MATLAB programming. For more updates, subscribe my channel.